Hi, this is a laser level I've been given to see if we can fix. Uh, it's not working at all. Uh, so first thing, it's quite a tricky thing to get into because if you take it apart, the little lasers uh, get in the way. So I have to take all these apart as well. You have to take all three of these off to get this out. Uh, it's a little tricky. All three of the windows removed. We have a chance of actually taking this out if you can align up each of the little parts with the areas in the box. There we go, it's now open. So the problem with this is it's developed a fault. So it's tracked down to this little device, this little surface mount device here, which is a buck boost regulator. And it has actually got a tiny little hole in the top where it's cooked itself. Uh, and unfortunately that is part of the regulating circuit uh, to supply the power onto it. So with that not working, nothing happens. Uh, you can buy some spare parts. These this little board appears as a spare part, but the board with the problem here doesn't. And of course you can't get a circuit diagram anymore. It's a fairly complicated little thing, quite expensive. Uh, and for one little, you know, couple of dollar component really you have something that's not working anymore. So I'm going to have a go at trying to replace it. I have ordered the part. Uh, these parts are incredibly small uh, to work with. You can sneeze and it'll disappear but we'll give it a go. The first thing here was that um, it's really hard to identify this component because the part number has actually burnt off with the the heat to have a hole in it so it's very hard to read. Uh, fortunately Google did a good job taking a picture of that because it recognized the uh, circuit board as well so it's not the first time somebody's had a look at trying to replace this. Uh, it's maybe a common enough problem. Um, so anyway I identified it from that which was great. Uh, but now the tricky bit is replacing it because it is an absolutely tiny part. Um, so I'm going to use the heat air gun and see if we can swap it. I've taken a note of where pin 1 is. Pin 1 is just down this corner here and see if I can remove it. Need to steady it a little bit more. It's a little bit tricky. This is the uh, new part in place and I'll try and get it to flow, take it a little while. Okay this was a bit of fun, they um, got the IC in and soldered fine but there is actually, I don't know if you can see it again there, a fuse in here. So I'm not really getting the focus on it. Yeah, there's a little device, a surface mount device here marked as F, F1. There it is. This is a, a fuse. I think it's a 3 amp fuse or a 5 amp fuse. It's got marked with a P on it. This had gone as well, so I've bridged it with a very fine wire because I don't have the actual fuse. But that seems to have... Uh, Solve the problem, it seems to be up and running again. So, it seems to be working.